the super producer Big Earn and Mad Dog at 9.37 in the morning in downtown New Haven. Now, uh, you know, in New York, a uh, new public advocate, he just got elected, uh, Jermaine Williams credits therapy for emotional success, urges other black men to seek help if they need it. Now, in our community, and this brother also looks like uh, Michael Jai White, you know, in yeah, his picture, mm-hmm. right? Shouts out to Bridgeport. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, my man. Uh, extremely important. Extremely important because we do not seek help. True. Very you know, true. The only time we seek help is when we got to go into a drug program or something yep. or whatever. Right. Court you know, mandated, yeah. Yeah, court mandated kind of things, you know. And uh, and in our community, we always, we figure that, you know, we could do therapy on each other. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Right? And then we go to our friends and our family. And, and it works to some degree because, yes. you know, it's the talking cure, right? Yes. What do y'all think about it? So I think that therapy is very important, especially for black people, because we endure so much oppression and hardship that it's actually genetically embedded in our DNA, which leads to depression, um, poor health, um, just to name some factors. So therapy will help. But also in the um, black people who are growing up in the inner city, uh, studies have shown that we experience trauma three times more than people who, who are from war torn country. Wow. PTSD. Wow. Yes, yes. PTSD. So PTSD is really huge. And I think that when, when people say PTSD, they say, well, this is how I survived. And that's what you're doing. You're surviving and you never cope with it. So people tend to look at that. as OK, well, he's strong to a certain extent. But again, therapy will actually help you dig and get that stuff out so you can learn how to cope and not use, you know, illegal substances, mm-hmm. which also, you know, heightens the incarceration rate, which is why we are, you know, behind eight ball in that sense. Mm-hmm. And it's not a fix. No, the the drugs to go to drugs to fix the problem and right. only mask it for yes, a it second, mm-hmm. and you're going to come back and revisit it. You have to work through yes. the issue and work through the pain. And the, what the the story is talking about with black men specifically, black men are not taught to to seek help. You have not. to be strong. Yep, don't when cry. When you are crying, exactly, mm-hmm. that's a sign of weakness. So you have black men who start out at, as black boys, young men who are experiencing issues that they are not allowed to release and yes. talk about. And they grow with that. I, and I, I got I to gotta speak from a personal perspective, right? Mm-hmm. You know, besides, you know, the fact that, you know, I, I've overcome, you know, drug use and so forth and so on, and I've had therapy for that. What has also helped me, which I continue to stay in therapy, right? Because that's extremely important. People don't sure figure, it, you know, like I'm going for a couple of months and then it's I'm over. Here, yeah. You right, yeah, you know what I mean? You know, one of the things for me, you know, is really still continuing to deal with, like, you know, my dad, you know, early in my life, you know, left, you know, uh, combination of him leaving and my mom wanted to make sure, make sure he left and so forth and so on, right? And, uh, you know, I thought, and he never came, and I, then I, this was in Panama, so I came to the United States and, uh, you know, I always felt like, how come he didn't come back? How come he didn't come and get me? Mm-hmm. Or how come he didn't come and, you know, and and, and seek me out, right? Mm-hmm. In my mind, I've always thought thought about going back to Panama and finding him also, right? So I've struggled with that, right? To this day, yeah, right? And, you know, and, I mean, and, and, and you know, and I don't want it to be a cliche that, you know, because people always talk about, you know, black men and their sons, you know, and right. black men always got the father issues and all that. Because a lot of them don't. Right. A lot of us do not. They got we got great fathers in our lives and so forth and so on. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. You know, but uh, but therapy helps with that. And sometimes there's some stuff that stays with you forever. Yes. But by going to therapy, you can you deal with it better. Mm-hmm. Right. Now you know? I can't speak from a, a black male perspective, obviously. Yes. But I, when my brother passed, you and I spoke about this yes. before one. When my brother passed, that would talk PTSD. That was broke down. I'm not coming out the house again right. type yes, of situation. Right. So I had to go to therapy. And it helps because I think the therapist comes from a, a non-biased perspective where you yes. can speak freely, yes. openly, without judgment. Yes. Right. And, and talk through and work through. Even if you just want to spend the whole session crying, mm-hmm. that's what you can do. Yes. And I think Jay Kemp always says, I, I think the world is a better place if everybody just Cry. went to therapy. Mm-hmm. Go right. talk therapy. to somebody. Right. Yes. And, and don't be ashamed about going to therapy. It's not something that we should be ashamed of. It means because your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Because it does affect your uh, physical health. Over Exactly, well. overall. Yes, if you're not right up here in your head, then everything can fall apart. Yes, it is. So right. I think people should go to therapy. And, and then Jumaine Williams, I just wanted to read this, piggybacking off of what you said, Juan. Yes. He said, there's a young black boy somewhere. 
He's trying to find his space in the world. Nobody knows. He cries himself to sleep sometimes. Nobody knows how much he misses his father. Nobody knows what he's going through. And the world tells him, you have to hide it, and you can't talk about it. And he said, but I've come with something to say to that young man that I think everyone should hear. My name is Jumaine Williams, and I'm the public advocate of New York City. It's okay to go to therapy. Mm. Boom. And if you think that this is what we need, call us, 203-562-9430. If you, if you think that this is not what we need, also give us a call. Tell us your your comments on this and how important this is to you or not important to you. Whatever the case might be, Juan Castillo Morning Show.